Hey guys, it's taken uh, a minute to let people find the break. It looks like we have a nice group of people. For those of you who are Roto Breaks veterans, this is an eBay break. eBay break number 27E, as it says on the box, and is labeled on the title of this video. I also posted a link in the comments to another break that we have that I just listed. It's a dual case, random team break of both Super Jumbo and HTA from Bowman Chrome. So for 289 bucks, you get a random spot, 28 spots in that break with two combo spots. So only 28 spots in that break. And you would get a random team. There's two combo spots. We have Yankees, Marlins, A's, and Phillies. Our combo spots. Hey, Greg, how's it going? And if you click that link, you could claim one or more spots. Need to grab a garbage bag real quick. I always forget. garbage bag and a two row box so I could fit all the chromes in there put those off to the side and then we're gonna get this going need some more Cardinals Greg, we'll try our best to get you more Cardinals, man. It's one of the things we try to do, get you cards. This is a super jumbo case. It's the most jumbo case they make. Magnificent boxes, Bowman Draft, Super Jumbos, Eric, how's it going? E for Eric, also E for eBay, coincidence, I don't know, but it both works. Welcome to Roto Break, stick around, we do a lot of Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft. If you're interested in the next break, if you like this one, click on the link above. start with our first box here and thank you guys for paying on time um, you know once in a while I get a couple of bad eggs we got we got one this time who didn't pay uh, but I didn't hold up the break so I'll have the Padres in this break you literally want them it wasn't even that expensive and he just immediately requested a cancel so rather than hold up the break I'll just keep them maybe I'll hit something maybe not Price was something like 90 bucks. It wasn't a lot. So I was just like, man, I'll, I don't care. Let me roll with it. See what I get.
didn't even care. It's better that than later on people complaining about things. They have some good pitchers, the Padres. Dylan Lesko is a guy I really like. I know he's a pitcher, but I like Dylan Lesko. Robbie Snelling's pretty good, too. So, there's worse teams to have. And I hope you guys do really well in the break. And I hope you stick around here in Roto Breaks. We're happy to have you here. And we do a lot of Bowman Chrome Bowman drafts. So, I'll be sorting out the base paper for now um so click that link above take a look at the new break we're doing it's for uh two cases one hta and one super jumbo dual caser and i think that'll be a lot of fun your donnie de los santos our first hit for the pirates and this is a sky blue to 4.99 richie crawford season you just missed the Reggie Crawford break we had the other day. We hit like two autos in a box, so maybe we could repeat that. But, Steve, any team you have, I root for. That's the truth of the matter. I take no pleasure in not hitting you cards. No pleasure at all. None. We've tried different methods. I've tried saying, I hope I don't hit you anything. We've tried saying, I hope I hit you something, and then the opposite team hits. But one of these days. One of these days, man. Curtis Mead. It's 199 for Tampa. I would gladly sacrifice the Padres I have so that you hit a Reggie Crawford. Kevin Parada with blue paper. That's nice. Nice little side hit for the Mets here. <laughs> yeah, I did try to throw in a little bonus there for you, Steve. So hopefully that one worked. And it looks really clean, though. That Yankee, right? I mean, that looks like the auto is surprisingly good. He's pretty streaky. Hey Dave, how's it going, man? I like that break you did yesterday. You hit the Max Muncy eBay one of one jersey number. That was pretty sweet. We're just out here breaking Bowman. I see Bowman paper and chromes in my dreams. I just separate, instead of counting sheep, I just separate paper from chrome in my dreams now. That's what I do. That's what my dreams are made of. Gabriel Rinconis. Aqua paper to four ninety nine. Got some fun New Year's plans, apparently. My New York Rangers are coming down to Florida, so I'm gonna check out that game. Be the first hockey game I've been to in a long time. We've got our first auto going out to the Cincinnati Reds. Oh man, those five stars are awesome. Logan Tanner, 47.99. So, Steve, in our last case we hit one of these and then we hit two Reggie Crawford. So, maybe things are looking up. You see patterns with these players. Logan Tanner, second round pick for the Reds. Someone needs to get me started in that dual case HTA though. That's something I... I do believe in strongly. Um, I'll post the link again. Someone get me started there. We already did two of them. And for some reason, this one's just not moving. Dual case HTA and draft. Someone take a spot just to get us started. And then it'll start flowing. We got a Sunny DiChiara going out to the Angels. Base auto here of Sunny DiChiara. Next up, we got a Justin Campbell 484 
a four ninety nine. And then we have a Dominic Keegan going to the Rays. Kind of an unassuming first box, but wouldn't read much into it. Dominic Keegan. Oh, sick. Miggy 101 patch auto. Yeah, those are nice. Definitely a nice product. And then we get, what do you know, another Justin Campbell. So if you're... A Justin Campbell enthusiast, this is the box for you. Two of them. First round pick, 37th overall. I didn't know there were 37 picks in the first round, but you learn something new every day. Not seeing any crazy color here. Try to go pretty quick through these. I do pull out cards like this. Tamar Johnson, Parada Refractor. I'll sleeve them up. Parada Base. I just go through them. Take out the good cards, at least in my mind, put them in a penny sleeve, and move on. Don't put everything in a penny sleeve. Our policy is that anything serially numbered will be sleeved and top-loaded. That's our policy. So we do that, uh, and that's something we write in our auction description. Try to be as thorough as we can there. And then I try to sleeve some good cards for you. Because I know that there's value to these as well. Astros on the board with a Drew Gilbert. First round pick. This guy looks like he could play. Classic Astros, tough-nosed player. Probably cheats, those kind of things. But you can't knock them. The Astros are good, man. That's the one thing about them. They're tough and they're easy to hate, but they're good. So, they do have that going for them. I say this as a Yankee fan, a bitter Yankee fan. I still maintain that Altuve stole the MVP from Judge in 2017, and that was the Yankees' year, very early in that team's window to win. And uh, that Astros team really, really hurt us. There we go, Solomon. Listen, it's a shot at the Astros. It's a shot at the Astros, but I... You gotta respect their winning ways. I mean, I'm not gonna deny that they're a very good team. I just, I wish it wasn't at the Yankees' expense. This is a Jackson Churio uh, variation. These are these are rare. This, I believe, is a, like a case hit type of deal. Chase Delauda with a refractor. I saw you got in this, Solomon. You have the Marlins trying to scoop up some some mojo over there. Maybe hit you a super. Of, uh, what's his name, Poland, or someone else. We got a blue refractor at the back of this one. Tamar Johnson with a Invicta. Brooks Lee refractor. Elijah Green. And then we got a J.R. Ritchie to the Braves. First round pick, 35th overall, and then a Jackson Holiday refractor. And a Dylan Beaver, Deaver's refractor. Yeah, the Nats really shot up there. Hopefully we pull through for the guy who bought the Nats. But um, I'll start sleeping those afterwards. But it's good to see you here, man. How you been? I was actually thinking of going to Dallas. But uh, there's a local show that same weekend in Palm Beach. So I'm probably going to stay local. And uh, just go to that. I actually had my flight booked to Dallas and everything, but I was saying on the last break I was on, Dallas airport's just been so tough for me. I always get delayed and canceled. Peyton Pallet with a blue refractor going out to the White Sox, number to 150. I think that was a pretty unassuming box number one. Some sneaky hits there with that Logan Tanner and Parada, but I would say not... Not the best box I've ever seen of the Bowman draft. But we have five left. Let's get the uh, the average one out first. I have been to TriStar in Houston, and it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. There's some good folks there. It's a good buying show, I would say. More so than a, a selling show, in my experience. You go there to buy. But... 
the whole market right now is about buying it's not not a selling market and that extends to big parts of the economy if you got some cash cash is king I'll get this Churio at a top loader this probably has some value really nicely centered too so it's a little underrated hit for the Brewers I think it applies to Bowman Chrome prospects all this stuff I mean I, the resale value on some of these prospects some of them are pretty high but you could scoop up some steals I'm really loving that 2022 Bowman Chrome product the hobby and the HTA and the prospects that are in there I've been saying this for a while that whole product is hitters and there's some interesting prospects they're all 17 18 19 years old um, from Cuba from from all kinds of international hotbeds for baseball and I really like that product I mean I think it it didn't get its fair shake in a sense that draft came out way too fast like draft was immediately on the heels of Bowman Chrome and Bowman Chrome had about like two weeks to shine and now Bowman Draft took center stage so I think you know some smart money for you guys could be to scoop up some some steals on Bowman Chrome and those guys are much harder to scout so if you have a good feeling or did some research on a couple guys in 2022 Bowman Chrome I would say, you know, go for that a little bit. Obviously, keep buying draft. I'm going to be doing lots of breaks. But at 2022 Bowman Chrome, I thought was an excellent product. Chock full of hitters with some serious skills. You know, there's the big names like like Churio. But like Yankeo Fernandez and Vaquero and Roderick Arias. Uh, Zavala looks pretty damn good for the Padres. Uh, you know, guy, me and Solomon both like Yorbit Vivas for the Dodgers. I scooped up his Super Fractor. And I thought I got a really good deal on that. A lot of value there. A lot of unknowns. And it didn't get its time to shine, in my opinion. So. It might be one of those products that kind of slid under the radar, but ends up being massive. Like, I mean, if you go and try to buy even a box. Oh, thanks, Alan. I appreciate it. If you go try to buy a box of 2016 Bowman Chrome vending, they called it back in the day. It was like these little boxes. I remember I was paying like 300 a box back in the day, 400 a box. Someone could, could check on Blowout for me, because I don't know the exact number, but it's like thousands of dollars per box, per box now. And and the names Soto, Tatis, Vlad, O'Neill Cruz, those are the names that came out of it, and those were relative unknowns. I mean, Vlad Guerrero Jr. was, was a known name. He was like the big chase, but uh, Soto, I don't... I mean... People thought thought Soto was good, but it's kind of similar to, oh, I think Yankeel Fernandez is good. That kind of thing. So Bowman Chrome has that level of potential, and uh, I would still hammer that product. And uh, the next break we're going to do uh, that I have listed on Facebook is actually a dual caser of Draft Super Jumbo plus an HTA case. So trying to bring them together. So people can get in on both. This is a Thomas Harrington to 199 for the Pirates. I do enjoy breaking these products because then when I go out into the market and, and see what's out there, I find some like raw autos of guys from Bowman Chrome and Draft. I really know who's who and, and what people, what's resonating with people, and I've done some more research. So, you know, I'm a collector just like you guys. Um, I do these breaks. I've been doing a lot of them, but I, I enjoy collecting as well. So, I'm about as crazy as you guys buying all this stuff. Simon Juan, blue paper to 150 for the Mets. 
Mets having some luck with the blue paper. So you can see we got a Parada back there and got a Simon Juan. So doubling up on blue paper for the Mets. Could this be a Mets hot case? There was one case where I hit three Kevin Parada autos. We got a Sonny Dechara. It's like a big first baseman for the Angels. Is there more paper here? No. All right, last pile here. Not seeing great names yet on the auto side of it, but our Super Jumbo cases have been very good. So maybe this is just a slow start to this case. We got Ignacio Alvarez to the Braves, number to 499. Paper. I don't know what's going on in the football game. I'd imagine the Cowboys are going to destroy the Titans tonight. And I'm not sure the Titans really want to be winning that game. They need, they might need to draft a quarterback. We got Ryan Ritter for the Rockies. Ryan Ritter, Rockies. This is a fourth round pick out of Illinois. Next up, ooh. We got some serious color coming out. Pitcher for the Royals. This is Hunter Pattison. You flip this card over, you don't know what you're going to get. It's a Red Wave Auto. Hunter Pattison from Boynton Beach, Florida. Stone's throw away from me. Pitcher for the Royals. Very nice. Red Wave. Next up, Tyler Schweitzer for the White Sox. Base auto. And with Bowman draft, it's a little more pitcher heavy. And this is a nice pitcher. A little color match. Walter Ford, 75 of 150 here for Seattle. I believe he was a pretty high draft pick. 74th overall out of Pensacola. What I like about him is he's real young, born in 2004, so 19 years old, six foot three. Number 53 draft prospect, top right-handed pitcher in Florida. Not too bad. Throws 97, and he's not even 20 years old yet. Pretty nice hit for Seattle. Nice color match. Doubt he's Henry Ford's brother, but... Oh, did I? I did skip the middle. That's a good point. I would have hit it anyways. I'm not trying to fool you guys. We got Sean McClain here. It's a good call. Sean McClain for the Dodgers. Or the Doyers, as many call them. Sean McClain for the Doyers. And we continue. We continue. We're digging. We're digging for treasure. That's what I call this part. You're just digging for some treasure. Sometimes you find refractors. Sometimes you find color. I'm waiting for the day. I just find a non-auto superfractor in one of these, one of these little piles. That's the dream. This is a Phyllis Valerio to 99. Quick sip. Sure, I don't have any eBay messages. Okie doke. Next pile. Parada. Romero.
Romero Refractor for Boston. Nice. Another Romero. So many Romeros in this box. We got a Jonathan Mejia Sparkle. You know you've ripped a lot of this when you know where and when you're going to hit a sparkle and that it's flipped the other way. That's when you know. When you're at that point, you know you've ripped a lot of this product. Henry Bolt. This guy's interesting. I had a redemption of him the other day. He seems like an interesting prospect. Just saying. Keep an eye out for Henry Bolt. We got a Brandon Barrera first round pick pitcher for the Blue Jays, number to 199. Nice little hit for the Blue Jays. Next pile. Got a blue refractor coming up, and it's Anthony Hall for the Yankees, number to 150. First Bowman Chrome for the Yankees. Good old Anthony Hall. I was hoping we'd get Spencer Jones in this draft product. He's a guy I want to potentially collect. He's a. Uh, the Yankees are trying to get their next Aaron Judge. Big, tall guy, outfielder. I believe he's a lefty, though. Here's a Reggie Crawford refractor for you, Steve. Not an auto, but starting to see more Reggie pop up. Chase Young base, Jacob Marcy to 250. And here's a Dylan Lesko refractor. Nice. That'll do it for box two. I think we're going to start heating up in this case. I know we hit that Red Wave Patterson, but I think we're going to start hitting some names. Every Super Jumbo case I've opened has had some really good names in it. We've had a nice run of cases, and I don't see it stopping. We will recap all the autos. We will also post this video to YouTube so future generations could watch this and see us hit the next Mike Trout. One of the best videos in breaking is when that guy hits a gold or an orange Mike Trout back in 2009, and he's like, hmm, Michael Trout, gold refractor, nice. Little does he know that card ended up being worth six figures. He's just ho-hum, Michael Trout, cool, gold refractor. That video is floating around somewhere on the internet. It's worth a watch. If you get in these breaks, it's a must-see for anyone involved. Answering some questions here. Alright, we're going to go to the next box. Box number three. We're not even halfway done. Not even halfway done. Only two boxes. It seems like more because there's so much superness to this jumbos. And... Packs are just these dumbbells. You know, you could probably build some serious lean muscle just curling these packs. 20 pounders. Definitely doing like overhead presses of cases of Super Jumbo. You could build a serious mass. I will say that. When I had to load these into my car, dear lord, that was a workout.
All right, box number three coming up. Box numero three coming up. It is Leonard, the 250 for the Doyers. Eddie Leonard for the Doyers. Pile number two. I'd like to see a super fractor sometime soon here. We hit one, but it was an insert, so it doesn't count in my book. Dustin Harris, green paper. kind of paper we all like. Here for the Doyers. Los Angeles Doyers. Danny, do you have the Dodgers? Danny Cano, cousin of Robinson Cano. Man, we're hitting Braves in this box, I'll tell you that. Gabriel Hughes to 499 top 10 pick power pitcher for the Rockies and boy do they always need pitchers they never seem to get it right remember they took Jonathan Gray back in 013 Kyle Freeland in 014 who else did they take Peter Lambert in 015 Rockies are always taking these pitchers all right, let's see if we can hit you some Doyers then. Those Rockies are always taking these pitchers. Never seem to finally pan out. You know, it's like signed Mike Hampton back in the day. That's what I really remember. Like Denny Nagel, Mike Hampton. They've tried. I don't know what it is. It's that thin air. It's weird. I guess the ball travels further and the pitches don't have as much bite. So the theory is get some power pitchers and just throw hard. I don't love the names in this box either. Maybe the second half will be better. Let's see if there's some nasty colors. Ignacio Alvarez to the Braves. So the Braves hitting again. Ignacio Alvarez to the Bravos. Next up, Ryan Ritter, second auto of this guy. Going out to the Rockies, 171 of 499. Next up, another Braves. Drake Baldwin this time, 80 of 150. Catching prospects for the Braves. They just signed Sean Murphy to a very long-term deal. They have their whole team signed to a long-term deal, which is pretty cool. They let go of Dansby Swanson. Ooh, here's an interesting color. Aqua Ray Wave, it's mesmerizing. Of Troy Melton. I feel like the Braves letting go of Dansby Swanson tells me that they like Vaughn Grissom more than they're telling us. Or that they are telling us they like Vaughn Grissom. And to me, that means he's a good buy in Bowman Chrome. So I've bought a few Vaughn Grissoms in the offseason here. There's some insight for you. Buy a couple Vaughn Grissoms. They'll probably go up. Dylan DeLucia for the Guardians. 6-1 pitcher. 6-round pick. A lot of 6s in that sentence. And we're digging for treasure. I look back there for color. We got an Eric Brown refractor. Nice. Reggie. Chase Jung Invicta. Cole Young refractor for the Mariners. Chet Williams refractor.
if you guys are enjoying this break, stick around the Roto Breaks. We do a lot of breaks. Myself, Dave Oswald, Jonathan Rotunda. We break Bowman. We break other products like Five Star and all the other ones. Triple Threads, Dynasty when it comes out. Those are some of our favorites. And lots of Bowman. This is a nice one. Cutter Coffee to the Red Sox. The Yellow Ray Wave Mesmerizing Refractor. 27 of 75. One of the top breaking groups. Solomon also runs a great one. Cardboard Heroes, right Solomon? Give you a little shout out. Solomon runs a great group. Also has a great card store in Houston. If you live in the Houston area, message Solomon. Go to his card store. Buy lots of cards. Something you should do. Jace Jung, the base. And then Sonny Dechara, another one of these. Purple Refractor. And we continue. Mikey Romero. Yeah, I still need to make it to the store, but I've seen some videos, and I remember you guys were getting that building prepped, and uh, put a lot of good work into it, and it looks great from what I've seen. Chase DeLauda. Next time I go to the TriStar sto show, maybe I'll try to uh, stop by, check out the shop. This is an Eric Brown Jr. Air Apparent, numbered to 99. Insert for the Brewers. Brooks Lee with a refractor. Got one more pile here, and three more boxes after that. Elijah Green, Kumar Rocker. Here's to the back half of this case having some big names. I think we got a lot of the smaller names out of the way. Kevin Prada with a mood ring. I discovered that these are called mood rings because I saw some redemption for a mood ring and I had to look it up. This is a nice sparkle auto. Cole Young, top 10 pick for the Mariners. Probably worth a decent chunk. Probably worth grading as well. A lot of these refractors aren't centered well, but this looks pretty good. Cole Young with a sparkle going to the Mariners. That'll do it for box three. I like this Jace Jung refractor. I like his brother Josh Jung. I feel like he's also a good buy for Bowman Chrome. I'm giving you all my trade secrets. You guys hop into these breaks, I tell you who to buy. Buy some Vaughn Grissom. Buy some Josh Jung. You'll be glad you did. Buy some Lewis Robert. Guy has MVP potential. Played with a hurt wrist last year. Sapped his power. His cards went down more than they should. And that's what I like. I like when cards of players go down more than they should because then you could buy them and win. That's when you win. You lose when you overpay for stuff. I agree with myself and with you, Mike. Mike Baudet. I agree with both of us. Lewis Robert has overcorrected to the downside, and he's become a tremendous buy for smart people because he has an MVP in him one of these years. Guy hits for average, runs like a gazelle out there, and had an injury that sapped him of power. So, I don't know what to say. I mean, the White Sox have a lot of potential in general. Eloy's also got a ton of power. But I feel like the guy who flashes for real is Lewis Robert there. And O'Neill Cruz is another guy I like. So, you know, there's guys who are more on the prospect side. And then there's guys that 
have already played on the big league level, but I think could have some serious legs. We'll get into box number four. Box number four. You almost need to, like, roll this. It's so big and heavy. It's like a boulder. They call it Super Jumbo Boulder Box. Featuring dumbbell packs. To build a wall out of this. Brick by brick. Piece by piece, brick by brick, one by one. Good old Lewis Robert. The one thing I didn't love about Robert is a lot of his hits were like seeing eye singles. But I think that related to his wrist issue. I think he just couldn't get lift on the ball. But it's all there. I see it the potential and I ain't scared of buying some dips I say this on almost every break look at even like Shohei Otani people when he came out the gate they were paying way too high and then when he got injured they were paying way too low the talent was always there you just gotta be patient sometimes be patient Doesn't always work. There's guys who just go bust, but I don't think Robert's a bust. Anyways, we continue. Some guys are busts. We got a Dylan Lesko. Purple. Paper. Purple paper Lesko. Let's go. Let's go Padres. I don't know if you guys are basketball fans, but I'm a salty Knicks fan. And I watched the Knicks play the Mavericks the other night. I think we were up by like... What was it nine or twelve points with under a minute to go, and somehow we lost <laughs> lost that game. It's like the first game I actually watched of the Knicks, and I was like, man, maybe we're turning it around. And just when you get that little bit of hope with the Knicks, they have their way of just shooting it down pretty good. That was uh, an epic loss. At least they're good for that. They they lose in an epic way. So I'm going to be said, if you're going to lose or fail, fail gloriously. The Knicks failed gloriously. People are giving Luka too much credit for that stat line, too. Everyone has their best game ever against the Knicks. He had like 61 points, 20 rebounds, 20 assists or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had 400 points against the Knicks. It shouldn't count. You know, I could have 100 points against four-year-olds also. This one's good. Mikey Romero auto. We'll get there. But good player for Boston. So Boston hitting their premier guy. And Errol Vera to 199. No comments on the Knicks. Did anyone watch that game? These are Bowman Chrome people. They don't care about basketball. Kind of agree. I don't care about basketball either. The Knicks beat it out of me. You get a little hope. They drag you right through the bud. Uh, 
All right. So we got three boxes left. Let's go. This is Trevor Martin for the Tampas. The Tampa Bay Rays. Don't call them the Devil Rays. They get upset when you call them the Devil Rays. This is a third round pick for Tampa Trevor Martin. Next up, we got a true blue auto color match. Mason Barnett to the Royals. So the Royals hitting serious color of their guys. We had that Hunter Patterson. It's not Patterson. There's no R in there. I thought it was Patterson, but then I looked and it's Patterson. It's how a New Yorker would say Patterson. But Hunter Patterson. And then we got Mason Barnett for the Royals. So the Royals hitting double colors there. Next up, we got Trey Dombrowski. Very nice autograph. Trey Dombrowski the third. Two of them before him. Houston Astros. Solomon's Astros. 65 of 250. Going out to Houston. And then we have a nice one. This is Mikey Romero going out to the Red Sox. He's very hard to hit. I gotta say, I think his stuff is short printed. I know he's a redemption, but I think he's also short printed on top of that. This is definitely a pitchery kind of case. I will agree with that. That's the thing with Bowman Draft. There's a lot of pitchers. I've been on a heater, and I think a lot of my cases will have more hitters, but. This is one of our first pitchery kind of cases. This is a Mikey Romero. This one's numbered 41 to 250. So we'll put a hitter up on the stand. And then we got Brenner Cox, an outfielder for the Nats. Brenner Cox for the Nats. B. Cox. Let's dig for treasure. Maybe we'll hit a super as we dig. Yeah, less talking, more digging. I hear you guys loud and clear. Less talking, more digging. A Melendez refractor. He's a big time power hitter. Holiday and Melendez. So we're starting to see those names. Holiday and Melendez. Those are nice ones. They're printed together for sure. When you see a Melendez, there's a Holiday not too far behind it. Got a purple in this box. Gavin Cross base. I bought a big Gavin Cross today. I like his swing. Sweet lefty swing. Peyton Pallet to 250. Had a good conversation in our last break about Reggie Crawford of the uh, Giants, whether he's a hitter or a pitcher. So if you go to MLB.com, there's a Gabriel Hughes refractor. If you go to MLB.com and look at the prospect ratings for the Giants, they list Reggie Crawford as a pitcher, but on his Bowman Chrome, his picture is as a hitter. So it's a little misleading. Um, and then one of the folks in our break room said that uh, he watched a lot of UConn games, and Reggie Crawford could apparently rake, and he's a big-time hitter. And there's thought of not him not having him be a pitcher, even though he could throw 100. So this is Ricardo Cabrera to 199 for the Reds. So... I think that's an interesting one. You can't just assume that the guy is a hitter because his picture is as a hitter. I remember back in 017, uh, what's his name? Brendan McKay had his picture as a hitter, and then he didn't do anything very good, but they try to make him a pitcher. It's tough to make it in the league, and he sold for big money. And then he didn't end up being one of the better prospects to come out of 17. 
Henry Mendez to 99. So, you got to take it all with a grain of salt as far as draft position. It's not the be all end all or the end all to be all. Do some top loadering. I like how, as I'm looking at the box, my viewers spike a little bit because I could see the stats. And then as I'm doing things like this, I lose viewers. They come back, though. It's funny. You guys are some smart people. Any update in this Cowboys-Titans game? I'm kind of curious. Are the Cowboys destroying them, or are they playing down to the competition? Who's still alive in the chats? Ten nothing, cowgirls. All right, I'm a Giants fan, so I can't say I'm fond of the Cowboys. I don't hate the Cowboys as much as I hate the Eagles, though. The Eagles are a very, very hateable team. They're good this year, but they're a very hateable bunch. I also don't hate Jalen Hurts. I think he's a pretty tough guy and a good leader. Sometimes you just happen to be part of an organization like that. It is what it is. Not every team could be as classy as the Giants. The New York football Giants classy organization. This pack is very thick. I bet you there's some sort of insert auto in this. Maybe not. Maybe not. It was just very thick. Losing viewers as I open packs because no one cares. Just want to see the results. Gotta enjoy the process, fellas. This is the fun part. But I get that it's boring. I'm bored too. Ripping packs. I just want to see the autos. Two full boxes left. We got ten autos left. We're trying to hit strike gold. Let's hit a true gold. I think we're due for a big color. Check my eBay messages. Nothing doing. All right. Box number five of six. Good luck. All right, we got a big name here. Zach Neto. And when you hit Zach Neto, I found Jackson Holiday isn't too far behind. So we might be in a Holiday Neto vortex here, guys. Ah, Matthew, that's always annoying. Next time, bid higher. Just bid higher. I think this box is going to be a monster one. We got a Zach Neto base auto, and every time I've seen Zach Neto, there is a Jackson Holiday lurking as well. I've said it time and time again. We might be in a Jackson Holiday groove right now after hitting that Neto. They very frequently are in the same case. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but there's a strong correlation of Neto and Holiday Autos. 
So if you ever open a box at a show or something like that and you see a Neto Auto, buy the next box. If you didn't hit the holiday, because there's probably a holiday in there. William Bergola to the Phillies. This one's number 150. This is looking like a nice box. I also see Sterling Thompson to the Rockies, and he's a first-round pick. So we're getting out of the pitcher zone and getting into the, the sweet spot here with hitters. We're hitting. We're cooking with gas. Ooh, Dougie Hood. Dougie Hood sometimes flies with, with uh, Holiday as well, so the plot thickens. I might be able to. We got a Denzer Guzman to 199 here for the Angels. Denzer Guzman. That's good recall though, Matthew. I see you're watching our breaks. You're watching our breaks. Did you win any teams tonight, Matthew? Cutter Coffee's our last auto. So maybe that next box, there might be a holiday in there. We got a Colson Montgomery. It's a $4.99. It's not a guarantee, but I'm telling you, Neto and Holiday fly together in this. And this is it's an actual thing. The way they're collated. And Neto is no slouch himself. Zach Neto to the Angels. So this is one of the guys you want to be hitting. One of the top hitters. And this is a very nice auto. Bold auto of Zach Neto. 13th overall pick from Miami. Stones throw away for me. Here in South Florida. South Florida. Zach Neto on the board. Next up. We got Joe Lampy. This guy's lamping in this picture. Straight lamping. 31 of 250. Ah. What are you going to do? Joe Lampy, outfielder for the Guardians. So, hitters only here. Next up, Sterling T. Sterling Thompson. First round pick from the University of Florida. Going out to the Rockies. Sterling Thompson. And then we got another hitter. It's Dougie Hood. Going out to the O's. Everyone knows the O's. Thompson's a good prospect. I agree. I didn't know Lampy was a good prospect, but Thompson I do know. Dougie Hood here to four ninety nine for the O's. And then we got a cut of coffee. This is a nice hit. His autos sometimes are horrible. And this one is not bad. I would say, like, this is still probably a card you want to send to PSA and not grade the auto. But I've seen some Cutter Coffee autos that have just been horrendous. So, he actually got some decent ink on this one. Probably better than 80% of the autos I've seen of him. Cut a Coffee. Cutters. Go Cutters! Alright. We continue. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. We got Bryson Mutz. Mutzarell. Going to the Cardinals. Bryson Mutz. 199 going out to St. Louis. Jackson Holiday and Melendez. What do you know? They go together. Gavin Cross Refractor to the Royals. Kate Horton Refractor. Jackson Holiday Refractor. Nice little run. Gavin Cross Base. Juan Bin Cho Sparkle. Drew Gilbert Refractor, Barrera Refractor, nice. 
Danny Cano, why don't you know? That was Sterling's call for Robinson Cano back in the day. Robbie Cano, why don't you know? Zach Neto, he should have never, never left the Yankees. Aaron Judge almost pulled a Robinson Cano move going to SF. Thankfully he didn't. Melendez Refractor. But the Giants might have dodged the bullet with uh, Correa. Looks like he's a guy no one wants to touch. I was wondering why he only got a one-year deal last year. The guy's an unbelievable talent, but apparently he's got some real issue with his leg. I don't know what it is. Got some plate in there. I don't discriminate against plates, but for some reason these teams do not want to touch him. He's got something wrong. He played most of the last year, so I don't really know if it's impacting him on the field, but it seems like teams maybe don't want to give him a long-term deal. That's what I'm sensing with Carlos Correa. See this last pile, the purple back here. Hermar Johnson. Scott Boris. That's a good call. It might be Scott Boris. Maybe that's what it is. But it's got to go beyond that. I mean, you kind of look the other way. Like the Yankees signed, uh, what's his name? The pitcher, Carlos Rodon, and he's a Boris client. Um, there's a rocker refractor. Nice. It's got to be more than Boris, and it's got to be more than the cheating, because teams look the other way. Something like really bad in his physical because two teams signed him. I mean, the Giants literally signed him, and the Mets swooped in and said, Oh, we'll take him, and now the Mets are backing out. And I bet he's gonna have to sign a short term deal. I'm gonna try to probably sue these teams also, which is crazy, but whatever. I mean, I get it. I would probably, if I was the Mets, I'd be like, hey, maybe I'll sign a, uh, maybe we can renegotiate so it's like a three-year deal, not a 10 or 12-year deal. You don't want to get saddled up with uh, damaged goods for that long. But what do I know? I don't know. Not for nothing. I don't know. Jackson Holiday Refractor, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Louis Bueno. Gavin Cross Refractor, nice one too. He's got a really nice sweet swing, does Gavin Cross. I don't know why those lefty swings always look so nice. Anyways, oh, let me turn this. The lights reflect. Last box mojo. Good luck to all. We have another eBay auction going off tomorrow for Super Jumbos. And then another one on Sunday. And probably another on Monday. LBM. I don't know what that means. Last box mojo. I got it. Five supers. I don't know if you guys saw the case that had three of like the ultimate booklet autos in it. Someone posted it from another group that uh, they hit three booklet autos with like Jackson Holiday and all the top prospects. Eric's pulling for Rinconis in the Phillies. See what we can do for you, pal. But there are some weird collation things that happen. And I wouldn't be shocked if there was like a multi super fractured box out there. Probably like one of them. But uh wouldn't shock me. I will do a recap at the end. For those who are interested in such things. 
Someone's got to post that video of the guy hitting the trout gold. That's one of the greats. Guys like, ho-hum. Mike Trout gold auto. Nice. Pretty cool. Michael Trout. I hear he's pretty good. We laugh and then... We have no idea. We pull Cutter Coffee. Maybe Cutter Coffee is going to be great. Cowboys 10, Titans 6. Ugh. Is Dak Prescott even playing? I feel like they have nothing to play for at this point. But to me, the Cowboys should be absolutely destroying the Titans in this game. Oscar Colas. Diet Colas. To me, I mean, playing Josh Dobbs. The Titans, so, you know, they've already moved on from Malik Willis, and uh, Tannehill can't play. Injury. So, it's not a great look. They're playing their third or fifth string quarterback off the scrap heap at this point. Good old R. Joshua Dobbs. Not saying he's a terrible guy or whatever, but... This is strange. Two David McCabe's in a row. So, if you like David McCabe, this is the box for you. This is the David McCabe box. Dave McCabe. John Kasevich with a color match. Blue paper, Blue Jays. 114 of about 150. Prescott has thrown three picks. Sounds about right. Playing down to the competition. Eight days on team. McCarthy. Such a great coach. Well, Aaron Rodgers hated McCarthy. Hated the guy. He used to, like, literally overrule half of the plays he called in. And just make faces at him. Cooper Rush looked pretty good earlier in the year when I thought the Cowboys were done once Prescott got hurt. I'm not saying he's better than Prescott, but they had a nice run with him. I think Dak's a good quarterback. I'm not going to really go too far into that. Like, he's pretty good, but... Ooh, look at that. We got a printing plate of Drew Baker. That's cool. One of one printing plate for the Rays coming up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to hate too much on Dak. He's not a terrible player, but it's just like... Whatever. The Cowboys do Cowboy things, and they kind of choke. It's been their MO. But their defense is pretty fierce. I mean, Micah Parsons, real difference maker. Alexis Hernandez here to 499. Can't win pig or big games. Pigskin games. I can't win those either. What is this? Reggie Crawford auto. Could it be, Steve, that the last auto is Reggie Crawford? Are we entering a new era of mojo for Steve Hanchel? Dobbs. Oh my god, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean... The Cowboys should be destroying this team. I mean, that's what the really good teams do. They don't play down to the competition. We start the David McCabe box here with a David McCabe. At the buzzer, Steve, huh? How about that? Maybe that's a sign. It's got to be something. That's good. That's good for something. I mean, not for nothing, Steve. Right? David McCabe here with a purple auto. Canadian born, Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, 6'4, 230, third baseman. Kind of in the mold of uh, Austin Riley there. Then we have another David McCabe coming here. It's a sparkle to 71. So if David McCabe's any good, this ends up being a really nice box. Nice bold autos on these, of these two David McCabe. So Atlanta really hitting. Pretty hard here. This is Silas Ardwan, a catching prospect, flexing some some of his guns over there after probably a base hit. Silas Ardoin or Ardwan. 
Refractor to 499 for the O's. Then we got Justin Oil Can Boyd over here for the Cincinnati Reds. Second round pick for the Reds. Followed by Reggie Crawford. Is he a hitter or is he a pitcher? Is he human or is he a dancer? No one knows. Nobody knows. MLB thinks he's a pitcher. Bowman Chrome thinks he's a hitter. Either way, he's athletic. Maybe he's good. Maybe he's not. Let's see if we can find some treasure here. Dig, 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 dig. Digging. Nothing there. I will post this to YouTube. I will do a recap. Those are two things I will do. Cole Young. Zach Neto. Jet Williams. Chase DeLauda. Jonathan Mejia to 199. For the Cardinals and the Chase Jung refractor. Cool. Three more piles. Then we're on to Recap City. Termar Johnson base. Termar Johnson insert. Yeah, the Cowboys almost losing to the Texans is bad. They were dead to rights in that game. It's a good call. Ooh, that's nice. Texas with a little sneaky hit here. Heir apparent of Kumar Rocker. This is gold. Number to 50. So, third overall pick in the draft here. Kumar Rocker, 26 of 50. Going out to the Texas Rangers. That's a nice little hit at the buzzer there. Cole Young Refractor as well. We have this Drew Baker printing plate for the Rays. This box was actually a pretty sneaky one with a gold of Kumar Rocker and then a one of one of uh, Drew Baker here going to the, to the Rays. Sneaky box with the non-auto heat emerging. Got an unknown call coming in. Bear with me for a second. Sorry about that. It was UPS. They lost a package of mine and they called to tell me that I need to call the shipper. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> it's funny with people like that. You wait two hours, they call you back. Classic. Classic stuff. Dustin Harris with a purple refractor to 250. And that'll do it. Some nice stuff in this case. Saves a slightly above average case. Maybe average. We've had some monster cases. And you know those when you see them. You had some nice names here. We had some decent color. But I know we have some more monsters lurking in some of our other cases, that's for sure. Because I've seen the cases we have. We hit things like gold Jackson Holidays in the cases, so I know they're lurking. We have hit a Super Fractor already, 
but it was an insert, so still waiting on the non-insert. I'll start the recap. I've started doing these ones I top loader, but I don't call them out. I just show them, and then I call out the auto. So I'm going to do that, just kind of show them on camera. And this just helps with shipping. If I have issues down the road, I know which teams hit stuff, and we can kind of troubleshoot if there are issues. They're rare, but it's good to know what the hits are. The autos I'll do a recap on. For the autos, which I will call out, it's like the starting lineups. We got a Reggie Crawford to the Giants, Justin Boyd, Red, Silas Ardwan with a refractor, McCabe Sparkle, McCabe Purple, Dougie Hood refractor, Sterling Thompson base, Lampy with a purple, Brenner Cox base, Dombrowski purple, Martin base, Delucia base, Troy Melton Aqua Lava, Drake Baldwin Blue Wave. Ryan Ritter Refractor, Ignacio Base, McLean Base, Schweitzer Base, Ritter Base, Campbell Base, Keegan Base, Campbell Refractor, Dichiara with a base. We get a Zach Neto Base, Cutter Coffee with a blue wave, Logan Tanner with a green auto, Kevin Parada with a blue paper, Mason Barnett. True blue to the to the Royals. We had a Hunter Pattison with a red wave to the Royals. Drew Baker with a printing plate to the Rays. Mikey Romero with a class of 22 number to 250 for the Red Sox. And a Walter Ford. True blue to the Mariners. Thank you guys for joining. Hope to see you in future breaks. I'll upload this to YouTube and see you next time.